Welcome to the lesson. Check the description box below in your YouTube player for tabs and backing tracks on my website, information about the sound tools I'm using today, and links to other goodies via my Patreon page. Now let's learn. So the opening is going to be E minor and B minor. So I'm up here with a cool, with a cool open position, kind of up high version of E minor. Seven, nine, that's my A and my D string. Nobody home on the G, eight there on the B. And I think I did a rake up. I don't remember to be exact. And then just down to a regular B minor bar chord. That's our beginning. By the way, if I'm going fast, there's slow down gears in YouTube over here or over here, depending on what device you're on. Spacebar pauses, arrows go forward and back. So then you do the very tricky thing of trying to see how much of a talk singing kind of melody we can combine with that. It's actually pretty fun. So this is now, um, I think I call this the bro E chord. I did a video a couple of months ago with E major, 026. It's a nice E but this is E minor, 025. And so we're gonna break it up because the melody is up here on that fifth fret, that G. Cool. Here's the B minor. Just a power chord, two and four. Two and zero basically does that twice. And this time the melody is on this E here of the E. So slightly different, but then right back to the that time it stays on that F sharp there, that fourth fret. So that line. Those sinister dinner deals, deal trolleys, wicked wheels. And then it's basically back to the first thing again. Hardest part of the arrangement right here. Beat four is Eric switching his Tom Brantley custom pickups from the creamy, creamy, mellow neck pickup to abusive bridge pickup. Watch that again. I had to practice just that a lot. Uh, and get back in time for. So how satisfying, right? To just Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, um, switch like that. Big E minor chord, really just hitting the low E. Jump to the open B and E strings. There's our flat five, our, our third fret, our B flat, our third fret of the G string. Cool. And there's actually, so the, okay, that's the first chord. The next chord is actually an E minor nine. O two, four, two. Store that away. Gotta pause for a second. This chord is fucking cool as shit. And if you don't know it, there you go. There you go. You might hear it in, I'm gonna detour. Pink Floyd. I love little things like that. So the second chord, yeah, is an E minor nine with the same, with a slightly different melody up top. There's that flat five again, that third fret. Three, oh, three, four. And then that, that, that melody that's inside the chord climbs up from to what's a sus4. So instead of kind of doing the melody on top of that again, it's my arrangement, I get to do what I want. I just kind of... Just because it sounds good. Uh, and that's just, you know, 0222. And then... So then the chord change goes to D major. This, is, this song has a fascinating chord structure here. D major, which, you know, I'm just playing the melody in a drone tone. One of my, I was showing this to one of my students, uh, David, and he's like, oh, it's kind of like a Bob Mould kind of Husker Du kind of thing to do. That's all it is, seven down to two, D down to A. And then 
I might get an open as I switch from a D major to a D minor. This version, though, nobody likes these kind of chords. Guitar players hate chords where it's a pinky and then notes behind the pinky. The brain is like, that's not real. Yeah, they are. They're freaking cool. By the way, if you accidentally hit a B, it's really cool. And it's just the same. Big F chord. I might do a little cross picking. Because I do love Dave Rawlings. Whoa. Gillian Welch should cover this song. That would be freaking cool. So that little cross pick. It's just, you see that. Three, or two, three, three, oh, two. And then a big C chord. The C over G, you put an extra bass note in. Three, three, two, and then the rest is C. And then a little. There's the melody there. G, G string, oh, four, two, oh. Then I just jump the melody an octave. Here's an E minor chord. So I'm like, hmm, 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 how can I drone stuff? Nine, oh, seven, and my melody's up there, so I go. And then that same thing is happening where the E minor is now an E minor nine. People are gonna ask what this chord is. It's not in the arrangement, but it's cool too. Bonus, bonus pet chord. 9 on the D, 11 on the G, uh, 8 on the B. But really, I'm just, I'm, I'm just on the 11 here. So he's staying on the 11, 12, 11, 12, get that 10 is the melody. And then that sus4 that was that is now just... And then the is now, here's a D up here, O, 14, 15, O, 7, 10. And I'm gonna get playing with some spicy flat fives. Another one of Eric's pet chords. Stab, stab, stab. Because again, D minor. Take it up the octave. So that's O, 14, would be 15, and then 13, but I'm like, I know that I can put a B in there. See, I'm afraid already. So that's absolutely not the melody of the song. That's literally just me putting in one of my favorite chords because I could. Here's an F, because it went to this F here. So I'm just grabbing, I'm seeing this F chord here, but I'm only grabbing 10 and 10 uh, of the D and B. Yeah, 10, 8, 10. Here's a C chord. So I'm just grabbing 10 and 9 there. And then up the octave, 12, 11, 9, 7 hitting whatever opens up high I want because it just makes it sound meaner. And then we're back around to E minor, B minor this time. If I did it right, I'm only getting those. I don't know why. And then I did an E, I don't know why sometimes I do things that are difficult for no reason. I think I want to, oh, I know why. When I was first, you know, I played around with this song for a couple of weeks to make this arrangement. I was playing around with, before I found that. So I put it back in at the end. O to five, muted out, five. So yeah, it goes bam, 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 bam. And now I'm like, okay, I got a few more E minors and B minors. Because again, E minor, but with a droning B string in there. I was like, okay, B minor. There's a B minor. There's a B minor. Oh, I could drone the B string there. So that's 
11, 12, sorry, 11, nobody home, 10, because that's related to this still. And then, oh, there's an E minor up here, so 12, nobody home, 12. And then there's a B minor up here. Oh yeah, I guess just to make it interesting, I made a B minor seven, 14, nobody home, 14. And then the final, 14, uh, sorry, 16, nobody home, 15, which again is that. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's a D minor shaped E minor with a B droning out. All right, now here's the part of the video where I talk about stuff. Why did I do this? <laughs> um, why did I do this? Well, it would have been just fine to shoot a lesson that was just like, hey, here's the chords to Mercy Seat. But it's just, I don't know, I can make arrangements of things so that, so then I do. Because um, it's fun for me, and obviously fun for you, my friendly and generous YouTube supporters. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's not easy to play, but it sure is fun to play. And you know, it requires, you know, there's nothing fast um, in here, um, which is one of the principles of playing for me is like, have good tone and, you know, you know, don't play a lot of notes. Now, what was that? What else was I going to say? Um, by the way, you might notice my setup is kind of crazy today. My buddy Tom is actually off camera. We're actually working on my record today. And so he has all his spicy preamps and microphones with him. So I was like, well, the light is actually really good today. Um, hey, Tom, say hi. Hello. <laughs> Tom Canova, everybody. Um, so yeah, we're, we're, we're going to finish up this video and then get to overdubbing guitars, bass, and vocals on my record. Stay tuned. It'll probably be it records take forever. It'll be like six months probably or more till, till it's all said and done. It's gonna be cool though. And yeah, I guess, yeah, take it really slow. Take it piece by piece. Nick Cave's awesome. Blix of Bard Held is awesome. This Fox sounds really awesome. You're awesome. What's not awesome? <laughs> There's a lot not awesome actually right now. All right, I'll leave it at that for today. Stay safe, everybody. Insane relatively and yeah see it's just like a little hand